Hi everyone, it's Dr. A, and in this video, we're going to discuss a process of bone growth and development called intramembranous ossification. The first thing that I'd like to share with you is that bone is a type of replacement tissue. In other words, bone tissue develops to replace an existing tissue, and that existing tissue is known as cartilage. So we can think about cartilage as a blueprint for the building of bone tissue. So in this process, we start with unique specialized cells called mesenchymal cells. And this type of cell is a precursor cell for connective tissue. In other words, it's this cell that leads to the development of a variety of connective tissues. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to utilize a green circle to represent the mesenchymal cell. And it's through intramembranous ossification that we have the development of flat bones, like those of the skull, the ribs, and the clavicle. So ultimately, this process begins with the embryonic skeleton. And remember that here, we're starting with the cartilage model. And in the cartilage, we begin with mesenchymal cells, which gather together. These mesenchymal cells then differentiate into specific connective tissues. Some of these differentiate into capillaries and others become osteogenic cells. And for note-taking purposes, osteogenic cells are the precursor cells, meaning that they ultimately become bone cells. Now, these osteogenic cells differentiate and become osteoblasts. And these osteoblasts appear as a cluster of cells. And this cluster of cells is called or referred to as an ossification center. These osteoblasts then secrete an unmineralized material called osteoid. And although not pictured, once this osteoid is secreted, it allows for the deposit of collagen fibers into the osteoid. And following this, will soon have the deposit of minerals such as calcium and phosphorus which allow the tissue to begin hardening over the course of a few days. And through this process, the osteoblasts become entrapped in the surrounding tissue. Now, what's unique to this process is that in the areas where osteoid is secreted around the capillaries, it becomes what we call trabecular bone. And as this process continues, we'll end up having two distinct portions. The outer portion of this bony tissue is called the periosteum or compact bone. And again, the inner portion, which is largely surrounded by capillaries, is referred to as trabecular bone. And this is the process of intramembranous ossification in a nutshell. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful, and if you indeed found value in it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.